Alright, as back, Z flies back, we are back and gang into game one. That's right. We got no time to wait. This is Wednesday night fights, not Thursday morning fights. What time is it right now? It's uh, Thursday morning. It's Thursday morning. But, ooh, good conversion, but still able to make it back to stage. Getting that down here just a little bit too high up. I, I feel like every time I see that connect, they, like, still survive. Like, I get, like, out of everything Wolf has, I'm surprised his down is, like, the one thing that doesn't go poorly. Well, using a directional air dodge, allowing uh, Charlie to stay in the game. Ooh, getting clipped by the, uh, by the holy water. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's super god. GG. Late hand there. Great choice there from Charlie. Mm -hmm. and expecting a roll from Charlie. We see that hit it. Holy fire. Holy water. All right, now these forwarders just trading with each other. Nedra tries to stuff out jumps, but it's not quite working. Mm -hmm. See a cross up there from Charlie and being able to convert into a dash attack. But a dash, ooh, getting the down tilt, oh! And punishing the Fire Wolf with an F smash. All right, there for Nitro is able to get himself some stage control back there as well. The Holy Water actually calls out the jump onto the stage. Mm -hmm. And forward airing, or back airing Charlie back across the stage. I mean, this is pretty much what I'm expecting to see from these two players in terms of matchup. It's going to be Charlie slowly trying to approach Nitro. Nitro setting up his traps, throwing out projectiles. Uh, but he's using the whip a lot more because Charlie's doing a good job of staying in his face. Oh, a little bit too early on the getup. Maybe he thought because the first one expired already, he was, you know, had some time to get up. Not the case. That's right. Good use of the holy water, and unfortunately for Nitro, he telegraphed. It was he had thrown it from so far away. Charlie had all the time in the world to use the shine. Nitro looking to try and seal up this stock early right now from Charlie the King. Knows that he is at high percent himself, but if he is able to just keep Charlie off stage like this over and over, juggling. Him. That would have been such, such a crazy setup. He's actually, I've seen him land that quite a bit. Where he gets the, the forward air and then the holy cross on the way back and then an up air. That's dirty. Yeah, cross up. Oh, trying to end the game with an up B. Not going to fight though. Good DI from Charlie, but the back air, not going to kill actually. Yeah, and Charlie was smart to use the shine as he fell to the ground. Oh, s is going to connect. Because he did expend his directional air dodge uh, to stop his momentum from going into the blast zone. But hey, Nitro taking game one. Yeah, looking really solid here with the Richter. Now Nitro, like I said, like I said, he um, he uh, did, you know, won last week's WNF. Mm. Uh, so he's looking to make a repeat and you know fill the other side of Grand Files with more in the Empire. Well, let's see if he can do that, or if Charlie's going to be able to overcome the obstacle that is Richter. Okay, did you see what stage they picked? No, I didn't. Actually. All right, well we're going to find out any second. It was final destination. We did see Charlie Cower picking this in his set with Razo as well. The stage does benefit Wolf. Makes it very difficult to land against him. Mm -hmm. right, as you can see, Nitro is very comfortable on this stage. Already putting 76 damage onto Charlie the King. Charlie looking to try and keep Nitro oh. on the ledge. He buffers it down here. I'm sure that was supposed to be a down tilt to escape the ledge, uh, but unfortunately Charlie did catch him off guard, put him off stage, and buffers it. And while that is a huge loss for Nitro, uh, he can make back that deficit pretty easily, and there it is. But instead of having a full stock lead, he uh, only evened up the score. That tilt into holy water. And the S smash to follow up. What are these conversions from Nitro? Even getting the high recovery read. 
goes for the read, but a great air dodge from Charlie is going to get on stage. Forward air into the nail, looks for the back air, but an aggressive forward air recovery uh, from Nitro will pay off. Yeah, he even uh, broke Charlie out of his second jump. Cross up nair does connect, but a back air to get Nitro back on stage. Ooh, and the punt kick. He's taking the holy water and putting Nitro on stage. Air for Charlie, forcing the Nitro to the ledge. Opto catches the jump, but doesn't kill. Down here into the photo as well. Great confirm there for Nitro. And he actually kind of threw the holy water down there. It did hit the leg, but it forced Charlie to stall for just a little bit, and that was able to make it not reach. Yeah, he's been doing that quite a bit, where he, instead of setting the holy water up uh, on the ledge, he throws it off stage. And uh, it's just another projectile that Charlie will have to deal with while he's recovering. And you know, Wolf Recovery, uh, it's it's not too good. It's he has some good drift, but like the recovery itself doesn't go so far. Exactly. And that's what Nitro is trying to uh, challenge. Okay, smart stuff from Charlie the King as he lands the blaster and then just sets up a nair in the, the path that Nitro would take with his tether. Yeah, that... In the name of the game for Charlie sealing out the stocks off of Victor is getting the you know there to intercept the recovery. Mm, dropping low. Very interesting from, from Nitro. Wait, I've told Charlie. Oh, Here's that's the it. Laser th All of a sudden, he just one interaction it felt like it, Nitro just stopped playing. And that's just how, how the poor recovery of the Belmonts. Yeah. You can't tether the ledge, you have to rely on your up B. But he was nowhere near the stage to up B. So, of course, if uh, Nitro is allowed to, I'm pretty sure he'll go to Carlos. But it sounds like it's getting banned. Yeah, I definitely, you know, that is his go to stage. I doubt we'll be seeing it. The FD, though, looked pretty solid for him. He did SD. Uh, so I'm not surprised to see him coming back. He did SD, but at the same time, uh, Charlie got a good gimp as well. Okay, we're starting game three, getting some early damage for Charlie the King. What are these angles from, from Nitro? He's so good at angling the, at these photos of that here. Mm -hmm. hey, it makes you feel like you're almost not safe. You're like you're not you're never, never safe, safe against Nitro. Never safe. Jump, he's got the angle. Don't jump, he's jumping and he's still got the angle. There's no way for him to not uh, no way for him to even attempt to recover there. That's right. Tipper at down smash is uh, ridiculously strong. Nitro try and cover the air dodge to the ledge, not gonna get it though. Charlie now looking to start up. Combo gets the opening with the down throw. That's right, momentum totally in Charlie's favor as he continues to chase Nitro all over Final Destination. Oh, he had the roll read, or he was looking for a roll read. Nitro not going to do it yet, though. And a back air almost stealing out the stock, going very deep and landing there, still able to make it back. Charlie is still on his first stock. The forward throw, yep. I love that forward throw so much. Such a good animation. <laughs> Yeah. So, we have seen Nitro do, like, tons of damage uh, earlier in the game, earlier in the set. But can he do it again against Charlie the King? Yeah, I mean, who's up a full stock. We haven't really seen Nitro playing from behind too much. He's been in control quite a bit. Aside from, you know, SD, but, like, he was still already set up in a pretty good spot. Oh. Forward smash, not going to kill it. was not tipping. I mean, that looked like it was going to kill, but wow, being able to convert from Axe into F-Smash just because of the stall? Yeah, it has so much hit lag that it just keeps it there in place. He does get the photo afterwards, and now Nitro fighting his way back into it. That's right. Fighting with axes and holy crosses and whips. Right, using all his projectiles and weapons. There's the cross toss once again in Charlie's face, but Charlie not able to punish it. Okay, dash attack. 
flashing. And now we see the axe being thrown. There's, of course, the holy water. You see another holy water at the ledge. Yep. Oh, but the direction. Oh, he's not going to be able to make that back. That's over. Very unfortunate that. I mean, I feel like even if he didn't fall out of that holy water, Nitro would have gotten away. Yeah, he's going to get forward smash, and that was going to be the game. So Nitro was able to overcome that two stock deficit. Yeah, I mean, he definitely, you know, was able to bring it back. I didn't expect it. He was pretty far down. Now Nitro sitting 2 1 over Charlie the King. Yeah, and what a turnaround of game three. Let's see if Nitro can take that momentum and can keep it going in game four as we go right back to final destination. I'm actually kind of surprised by it. Maybe Charlie's thinking he can't really jump into Nitro when he's staying under platform, so he wants to take that away from him. But this FD pick has worked out pretty well for Nitro so far. Yeah, it could just be that Nitro's conversions are just so on point that one hit is able to convert into massive damage. I mean, it even looks like soft hit or just get, just being able to land a Nair, uh, Nitro knows what the follow-up is. Yeah, there's the Nair once again. Too high for him to follow up, but he's still chasing Charlie down. Okay, forward air connects, but back air is going to win for Charlie. Now we're starting to approach those holy water percents. Double F tilt. No, he's just throwing axes at the ledge. Looks for the holy water, but doesn't find Charlie fighting his way back to center stage. Back throw here for Nitro, not going to do it. And now we see the axe coming out. It's going to force Charlie to get up. Charlie's shield looking Ooh. destroyed right now. He cannot afford to shield anything else. He has to be on the aggressive right now. With the way that Nitro has been playing, throwing out a lot of F-tills can make it very difficult for uh, Charlie to run at Nitro. And that F-till does in fact take the stock, but Charlie's able to answer right back with an up smash. Right. Very low percent here for both ends, but I kind of feel like this is good for Charlie. He does have the higher low percent combo. But he's just getting poked out by Nitro. And using the down tilt to escape the ledge. And getting a good dash dance into a down throw. And now we see the trap set setting up for Nitro. Okay, Nair connect for Nitro. Up smashes have been so good for Nitro. They haven't been connecting. But the idea has always been there. And whenever he throws it out, it feels like Charlie's reacting in the perfect time to not get killed by it. Mm -hmm. Nitro was able to convert off a down air. Put a good amount of damage on Charlie. 119%. Nair, is it, are we going to see the holy fire? The holy water? There's the holy water, and it does connect. But F smash doesn't come out from Nitro. All right, there's the Holy Water again. Not going to find it. F-Tilt looking for it. Here's the back throw. It's not as strong as the photo throw, so it's not going to kill quite yet. Baptize him. That's such a strong setup to deal with from Nitro. He, Charlie the King was forced to use a get-up, some type of get-up action because of the axe. Holy Fire, Holy Water was already in position. All right, looking for the photo throw. Tetris with the down -side. Not going to find it. Charlie, but doing his best right now, but his best may not be enough. Nitro looking to end this 3-1. Oh, and that's the... Oh, no! That's right. Charlie the King did lose his jump while he was trying to approach Nitro in the air, which forced Nitro, or which forced Charlie to recover using the Wolf Flash. Completely telegraphed, Nitro read it, and he got the punish. All right, so two-time WNF winner Nitro looking to make it three. He has... He has completed the Inland Empire Grand Finals at WNF. I would not have it any other way.